Bullock Forest continue to unearth the horrors that lie beneath the surface. Megingo Village in Malindi, where the family of controversial pastor Paul McKenzie lives, is in utter shock. Well, villagers recount their first encounter with Paul McKenzie in 2015, whose mission was to convert as many people as possible to be his followers and believers of his misleading doctrines. That was when he built his Good News International Church, capturing a sizable number of believers before later moving to Shakahola. Well, this comes as families of missing loved ones continue to throng Malindi police station with hopes of finding them alive. Migingo village in Malindi, Kilifi County. This is where the controversial Pastor Paul McKenzie is believed to have first set foot in Malindi with his mission clear to convert as many followers as possible. He set his Good News International within this compound, surrounded by a concrete wall. This is also where his family is believed to be residing. We made efforts to speak to them, but were turned away. <laughs> Neighbors who are mostly speaking in harsh tones say Mackenzie settled here in 2015 before leaving last year. <laughs> When he left, according to the neighbors, he had converted many into his followers. The neighbors never heard of those who left until the horrors of the Shakahola grave surfaced last week. This comes as families of believers who are still missing continue to throng the Malindi police station and Shakahola forest with the hopes of sighting their loved ones. The families, some coming from as far as Nyanza and western regions, have been here since the shocking news started unraveling. <laughs> The families have been camping here at the police station, insisting they are not going to leave until they receive reports of their loved ones who disappeared more than three years ago to follow the misleading teachings of Paul McKenzie. Some say they have attempted to reach their loved ones through mobile phones only for them to receive disappointing responses. The families have called on the government to put more emphasis on searching those who are still hiding deep in the forest of Shakahola, even as detectives continue to unravel more graves. Serikali ama mafisa wa polisi wametia sana uzito kutafuta maiti, kufukua maiti, badala kutafuta wale watu ambao wako hai, mana wale watu wako hai, bado wako ni wengi pali msituni. The number of bodies exhumed from the forest has since risen to 39 and counting, following the exhumation of 18 bodies from seven graves today, with detectives yet to dig up more than 50 graves and the number of those alive remaining unknown.